and welcome back to the channel in the previous video we saw about firebase storage the uploading files deleting the files and then also calling back to the application all of the firebase file storage we saw so now i went back to authentication page and i saw that there are still some things some updates which came to the authentication which we did not covered up in the course okay so in this video we'll see how we can reset our password uh, in firebase authentication okay so reset password will be our topic for today's videos let's get started on the login screen i'll make a button below the login button which says reset password this is our login button i'll duplicate this and i'll write here reset password and the function will not be what it is it will be a navigator push function okay we remove this and we add navigator here and it will take us to the screen of reset password which does not exist yet so we'll go to our lib right click and make a new dot file with the name of reset password reset underscore pass then we'll import material and then we will create a stateful widget with the name of reset password so now in the login screen we can import the file and our screen has been created okay so that was the thing for login screen okay so here now you can see that we have our button for reset password we'll click that and this is a black screen because we haven't done anything yet so now firstly we will need three variables and one of those will be form key then the controller and then uh and then a string variable okay so i add the code for three variables the form key which will be the global form key and then the controller text editing controller for email field and then a variable with the name of email which will store our email okay so next thing we want to do is uh, dispose our controller that will do super dot dispose okay so now i'll just finish the ui part uh, really quick really quick at the end and right now we will just write the function okay because that's the main thing so inside inside our widget build we will write our function and the code will be this i'll import the library package firebase auth okay okay so now what does it says with the name of reset pass i have my function here which is of type of type async firstly we will try and our await will be firebase auth dot instance dot set password reset email so basically here with this function we are sending an email to the email provided to us in the uh, in the argument and this email will contain a link through which the person can reset the password okay so uh, this will, will be the function and this will take email as, as a parameter and our uh, we will put email the variable which we made up this variable as the value for the email okay so after the this function is successful then we can show a snack bar which says that the email uh, has been sent and so now uh, in this case we can have one exception that it is possible that uh, the user is trying to reset a password of an email which does not have an account to our application right so if we get an exception then we will catch the exception and if our code is user not found which means that the email has not been registered to us then we will show that the user is not there with this email the user does not exist and the and the person first needs to create the account and then only he can reset the password okay so here it is showing us an uh, error do not use build context so what we'll do is dot when complete and we can put this message inside this thing right here okay that was a function so i'll just quickly make the ui and we'll be back we'll be back to you okay i made the ui which has scaffold app bar which title says reset password 
and then we have our safe area which and the child will, will be form the key which we provided which will be underscore form key which we made up this form key okay then padding in the column we have a text form field okay i have done some designing for that just the main thing here is that we have to set the controller and the controller should be email controller okay and the keyboard type will be text input type dot email address okay which is convenient for the user we can say and for the validator uh, two three things we have to do is that the value should not be null okay and if the value is null then we have to return that please enter an email the field can't be left empty and second thing that to verify that yes it is an email only and not some anything else then uh, for that we have a reg xp code this is the code you can copy that and if the value in the text editing controller has a match then only we can uh, allow the user to send the email and if it does not has a match it means that it is not a valid variable and we will return that please enter a valid email if though if both of these are satisfied then we will return simply null okay and then with the size box of high 20 i have my text button which says send email and on press firstly we validate our form so underscore form key dot current state null check dot validate so if it is validated then we will set our state and our email variable will be equal to email controller dot text we are assigning a value to our late variable email and then we call the function of reset password when we call this function of reset password this thing will happen which i explained earlier and the email will be sent okay so now firstly i'll create an account i'll sign up email will be let's say uh, i have to put a put a valid email right and password for now i am setting it to be one two three four five six seven eight the most basic and easy password and i'll log in okay so my account has been created here i'll try logging in let's see Okay, so I have the password right now set as one two three four five six seven eight. So now I want to reset my password. I type in the email. This is my email, and then I will click on the button send email. So it says email has been sent. Okay, so now I need to check my browser. Let's see. So here you can see no reply. Reset your password for the project. Okay, this I can open and this is my link i'll click it it will open up right here so i can set my new password for this right now so i'll pass my password will be p-a-s-w-o-r-d password itself password you can see here and i'll save it okay so now the password has been changed let's let us go back so now here i'll go back to the screen and in the email i'll try to log in the name with the same email and password i'll put here will be p a s s w o r d and i'll log in so signed in here you can see that yes my password has been changed and this is how we can do it with our uh, firebase authentication and also if you see the, the documentation you can also customize the template which i got here okay so basically uh, if you want to add your own template to reset the password then you can do that also by entering into the firebase console okay that is also a service by firebase yeah so that's it for the video uh, quite a simple task not much of a big deal just one simple function okay and a purpose was solved so that's it for this video uh, thank you for watching till the end if you're still there and if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe the channel because all of the updates are here and also press that like button if you have any errors then please put them in the comments below i will try my best to answer them and if you want a video on, spe on specific topic then i'll make that also thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one Sometimes I struggle in this place Been in circles several days Never knowing the right way mm, yeah. Sometimes I struggle in this place
place.